What is a backslider? It's brought up often. People talk about backsliding in regards to us losing our salvation, but I think it needs to be stated that the word backslide, backslider, or backsliding is not found in the New Testament. It's found in the Old Testament. As a matter of fact, it's only found in regards to who? Israel. Now, depending upon your translation is going to determine how often you're going to see the term backslide or backslider or backsliding, any variation of that. And so I want to go ahead and show you the two examples that show up outside of the King James Version. But then I want to look at the versions, the passages that have the word, the term backslide or backsliding which are found in the New King James Version with the King James Version, I want to look at those examples and we'll get an understanding of what it means to backslide or what it means to be a backslider. When you go to the NASB or the ESV or some of the other translations, you're going to find it in one in Jeremiah 49. So let's pull that up on the screen. 49, it says, How boastful are you about the valleys? Your valley is flowing away. O backsliding daughter who trusts in her treasure, saying, Who will come against us? And so this is an arrogant Israel because of who they are, what they've had, and so they are a bit boastful about them. We'll come back to this to this word in a minute because we're going to spend a little bit of time in Jeremiah. But then if we go to Proverbs, Proverbs 14, we'll see this again. And it says, verse 14, the backslider in heart will have his feel of his own ways, but a good man will be satisfied with his. And so if you notice the contrast between a backslider and a person who's not, uh, this backslider is thinking and feeling focused only on him or his own ways, satisfy him, which is kind of what we see in Jeremiah 49. Now, I said, though, that this term backslider or backsliding is most commonly found in Jeremiah, especially the King James Version. Look at that translation. Also in Hosea, so I want to look at those, but before we go there, I want to talk about what it means to backslide. So if we go back to Jeremiah 49, we'll look at the term and see if we can figure out what it means, and it'll give us an indication as to how backslider applies then, but does not apply now. So if we go back to it, the word for backslider is based off of one real root word, which is the word shoe. The word shoe, which means to turn back uh, to turn away or to turn and the variation that we see here for backslide or at least in this case the hebrew word shabeba which is the same as shoe it has a suffix ah attached to the end of it but it's made up of the root word shoe which means to turn to return to turn back or to turn away from well when we look at this word how often it's used in the new testament matter of fact let's let's pull it up a couple times and in the King James Version, and let's look at when it's used, how often it's used. We see it in Jeremiah 14. We see, as a matter of fact, let's start from the beginning. The first time that we see this term in the King James Version, the translation of it, we see it in Jeremiah 2, Jeremiah 3, 6. We see it in Jeremiah 3, 8, 3, 3, 12, 3, 11, 3, 12, 3, 14, 3, 22, 5, and so forth. And so we also see it in Hosea. Speaking about Israel, verse 16 of chapter 4 it says, For Israel backslided back as a backsliding heifer. Uh, chapter 11, verse 7, And my people are bent to backsliding. 14, 4, And I will heal their backsliding. Now, that part is important when he, when he speaks prophetically of what he's going to do to who? To Israel. He's going to heal their heart, their backsliding heart. Now, one famous passage we find is in Jeremiah chapter 3, where the Bible says, or some will quote, that God is married to a backslider. Start off in verse 1. He says, God says, if a husband divorces his wife and she goes from him and belongs to another man, will he still return to her? Will not the land be completely polluted? But you are a harlot with many lovers, yet you turn to me, declares the Lord. Lift up your eyes to the bare heights and see, where have you not been violated? By the roads you have set for them like an Arab in the desert, and you have polluted the land with your harlotry and with your wickedness. So clearly, he's talking about who? About Israel. God has done these things, and Israel has still constantly turned their back on him. They will say that they would not, and then they do. Then they find themselves in trouble. God, God saves them. God rescues them. And these cycles, which is what we see in the book of Judges. These, this constant cycle, and it's never, God has already told them that that's what's going to happen. But notice what he says later on. He says, Then the Lord said to me in the days of Josiah the king, Have you seen what faithless Israel did? She went up on every high hill and under every green tree, and she was the harlot there. I thought after these things, 
she would return to me, but she did not return, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw that for all the adulteries and faithfulness, faithlessness of Israel, I had sent her away and given her a writ of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah did not fear her, but she went and was a harlot also. So he's speaking of Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. That's important. In verse 10, he says, yet in spite of all of this, her treacherous sister Judah did not return to me with all her heart, but rather in deception, declares the Lord. Now look what he says, verse 11. And the Lord said to me, faithless Israel has proved herself more righteous than treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return, faithless Israel, declares the Lord. Now, I want to focus on this word for return, and you'll notice the root word for return is the same word, the root word for uh, shub or uh, shubeba, which is where we get the term backslide. Let's go back to what he says. Return, this word over here in the Hebrew is shub, the same word that's used in backslide. He says, return, he says, I will not look upon you in anger, for I am a great, for I am gracious, declares the Lord. I will not be angry forever. So we won't go through all of the different passages, but it gives an indication that God is dealing with Israel and God has only in the Bible called them a backslider. Why? Because they started off with him. He went and gathered them for himself. They made a promise to him after he makes a covenant with them. And what do they do? They violate it constantly over and over. They have a backsliding heart. They have a heart that is to turn away from him. But he says, turn back to me. Now, they won't do it on their own. And so what does he do? He is going to heal, as he says in Hosea, he's going to heal their backsliding heart. That's the reason why we don't see this in the New Testament. The Bible knows of no Christian, no one who has the spirit in them, who also has a backsliding heart because God said he's going to heal them. How is he going to do so? He's going to heal them by the Holy Spirit. He's going to place his spirit in the heart of a believer. He's going to cause them to believe, number one. But then two, by his spirit being in them, they will never backslide. They will never turn away, which is why you don't see this term in the New Testament. It's only in the Old Testament and it's only ascribed to Israel. It's not ascribed to anyone else. Why? Because they there was no one else who, who was with him and then left. It's not in the New Testament because there's never going to be anyone who's going to be with him and then leave. There are people that are going to have head knowledge. They're going to have an understanding of him and then depart from that understanding. They'll depart from what they know is the truth, but they never will be called backsliders because they never actually placed their faith in Christ. They were never his to begin with and never left the whole idea of what a sheep is. And so I hope this helps understand to be a backslider, it's only applied to Israel, and that is only before the cross. Amen.